Hi there, I'm going to be tasting the 2020 vintage of the Kristen Vineyards Pinot Noir from the Willamette Valley in Oregon. This is 100% Pinot Noir and the Willamette Valley itself is planted to about 77% of Pinot Noir because it's really highly prized there and grows and develops really ideally. In this region, um, there's a longer hang time than in Burgundy where we often think of Pinot Noir uh, because it's sort of the spiritual home of Pinot. Um, but here in Oregon, in the Willamette, it has less risk of frost and hail. And where it's situated allows for kind of a long hang time. So the Willamette Valley itself follows the, the path of the Willamette River, which is a tributary of the Columbia River. And on the eastern side are the Cascade Mountains, and on the western side is the Oregon Coast Mountain Range. And while that range blocks a lot of the Pacific Ocean influence, it's still considered a maritime region. And this bits of fog and cooling influence sort of seep in through these gaps in the mountain there. Um, so Christum is a very highly regarded winery. It's been on the Wine and Spirits Top 100 list, I think, eight times. Um, and the winemaker himself, Steve Dorner, he used to make wine at Calera. Calera is uh, south in California, kind of near Monterey. Um, it's such a special plot of land, it even has its own appellation, but that's another story. Point is, he was making fantastic wines at Calera for about 14 years, but knew he kind of wanted to change, wanted to explore making Pinot in a different area. Happened to be at that same time, the founder of Christum was looking for a new winemaker. He had incredible reverence for, for the wines that Steve made at Calera. He thought they were the finest examples of Pinot Noir in the New World. And he even it reminded him of Domingue Dujac from Burgundy, which he considered to be the finest example of Pinot Noirs in the world. So he convinced Steve to come on board. I think this was in the early 1990s. Uh, and here we are today. So let's taste this together. Pinot Noir, of course, is a thin skin variety. You can tell from the color right away because I can see right through this glass. I could read words if I had a piece of paper under me. Um, and it's sort of ruby in color. Now, this is a youthful wine, so it's pretty um, same color from, from the core to the rim. If it was older, we might start to see a bit of a different sort of bricking color around the rim, but I don't see that at all. On the nose itself, super, super just pretty is what I wanna say. There's sort of this rose petal, black tea, Fresh berries, I often get this sort of mixed, fresh picked berry note from uh, Pinot Noirs from, from the Willamette, almost like you went to the farmer's market and you just filled your basket up with everything you can find that looked delicious and kind of the, the experience of smelling them all together is what I'm getting in this glass right now. All right, let's taste this. Very bright has a really lively acidity to it. The tannins are very soft, just, you know, I would say medium minus. Um, I do get a little bit of that drying sensation from the tannins on my tongue, but very, very subtle. It's sort of a wine that um, is developing as I'm, as I'm talking to you. I'm getting more kind of like earthy tones coming out. There's a bit of a tobacco note that's emerging. That black tea again uh, is lingering on my palate. At the Surf Club, wine director Michel Couvreau, he likes to pair the Kristen Pinot Noir with their beautifully plated Aura King Salmon because the bright red fruit of it really elevates all the flavors of the delicate flavors of that Aura King Salmon. And the tannins are soft and supple enough that it won't overpower the delicacy of the dish itself. It's absolutely fantastic.